everyone and welcome to a new review. We're gonna take a look today at a game called Canon Crasha. It's a game that had a lot of success on iOS and the developer recently released it for, for Android 2. Uh, it has this retro look. If you take into account the design and I love it already, I'm gonna show you. I'll start it quickly so you can see how it's played. First of all, this is the dashboard. There's an item town where you can purchase items based on how many coins you have and uh, you can also change the look of your cannon and units what basically happens in here is that uh, you have a castle and you fight against another castle and whoever destroys the other one faster wins you can play as a campaign against the AI or using the two players mode where you can uh, fight against one of your friends the arena is where you train you also have achievements via Google Play services. The campaign is divided into four chapters, each with ten different uh, levels. I'll start the. I already played two of them. <laughs> Got addicted. You'll see why. I'll uh, show you how um, you can play this level. You get uh, some guides during the game and also witty remarks <laughs> which makes the game even funnier this is my enemy there's a bit of chit chat and as each level progresses I mean in each level you get uh, introduced to a new thing this is my castle this is the enemy's castle my uh, health this is the enemy's health how many coins I have and army again against uh, my enemies. With the coins you are able to purchase uh, different, uh, either different ammo for your cannon which does more damage. Uh, armies, you can purchase units or uh, spells. And uh, in each level you get introduced to a new room. This is the engineering room I'm getting introduced to. It will let me repair the castle and do other upgrades. You can see I can buy a steel beam. If you tap once, you'll get an explanation of what uh, it does. You can protect yourself from the enemy's cannonballs this way. This is a, a steel beam. Let's say I'm gonna leave it here. Now let me show you how you shoot. This is where you choose the the direction of the cannon. You tap, hold and release to fire your cannon. That was way too... Let me try again this time, like that. Let's fire it higher. It went too high. So, let's try this. Every time you successfully hit your enemy's health point will go down there's also wind involved you can look at the pixel art clouds moving to figure out the direction of the wind oh, I didn't can't believe I didn't hit it yet okay I'm on the right track I'm just shooting to powerful let's reduce that well <laughs> yeah see now the wind is blowing I have to really increase the speed of that let me show you other things in here this is where you buy units this is the armory room Let's buy a soldier. See, I already have my soldier here. He's gonna go in attack. This is the type of cannon up uh, ammo you can uh, upgrade. Let's have a split ball so I can show you what it does. It will split that into several smaller ones. Now the wind isn't blowing anymore told you it's highly addictive if you like this style well I finally hit one I got it once you realize how uh, 
You see, the wind is tricky, that's why you have to take it into account the wind too. Now it's blowing and it's trickier. Now it stopped. <laughs> One funny thing is that if you. If the cannonballs meet meet there, they will collide. It's very realistically made. Physics is important in here too. And wind change, yeah. Sound damage is good. There's also all sorts of power-ups. If you get to hit one, you have an advantage. Difficult to do that while you also try to hit your enemy. Let me show you one more ammo upgrade. This is the fireball. This does quite some damage if you manage to hit if you manage to hit the gas. <laughs> Which I obviously didn't. This will freeze your enemies. You can see the gameplay is very uh, easy, but the game overall is difficult. As the level progress, since it requires some precision, and it also involves some physics. My enemy got to the UFO first <laughs> and got the bonus. It's important how many coins you make because those will uh, let you uh, purchase more units. We've already seen how the gameplay is, you can go ahead and enjoy it now. See I can shoot in my own in my own uh, steel beam. <laughs> oh, did he? A very enjoyable game, no wonder they had the success they have with the iOS version and the Android one will become on will become successful too, I'm sure. It has a retro look a lot of pixel art involved, this is the map so it's definitely for for gamers that want to play something that reminds them of older times you can disable sound and music too but I don't see why if you like the game you can install it for free from Google Play it does have some in-app purchases as you can buy in-app coins and purchase items with it Obviously worth it if you like this genre. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave yours.